Hey YouTube, Apostle Stacy here. I just got a little praise for the Lord that goes like this. I love Jesus. He's my savior. When the storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. He's my savior. His thumbs are raging. He's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. And he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, he's my savior. When the storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I want you. Yes, I do. And he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. He's my savior. When the storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I'm going to follow. I love Jesus, and he loves me. Hallelujah. I don't know what my tambourine is, and I had time to find it. Just wanted to come on. I'm in the office working, as always. Just wanted to come on and give God that praise. I began to hum that praise and sing that praise, and I said, well, why keep that to yourself? You ought to just go on and press the card since you're on the computer anyway, and go on and let the world know that you love Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody out there love God? Praise the Lord. If you love Jesus, just leave me your little testimony in the comment section. We can comment on all kind of stuff. Amen. But I love Jesus. Hallelujah. And you know why I love him? I love him because he loved me. He loved me when I didn't have a sense enough to love myself. Hallelujah. He loved me in spite of myself. He loved me in spite of my mess. He loved me, amen, on my good days. He loved me on my bad days. He loved me when I was unlovable. Hallelujah. He loved me when I wasn't thinking about it. Glory to God. He loves us when we wake up in the morning. We don't even stop to tell him thank you. And we breathe his air. And we absorb his sunshine. Hallelujah. And we uh, walk on his grass. Praise God. He loves us anyway. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who loves you unconditionally. Agape love. Hallelujah. That unconditional love. And you know what? Because God loves us, we shouldn't have too much more, too much problem trying to love somebody else. Amen. A lot of times, you know, we, we say, well, you know, I, I, I don't know about that love everybody thing because, you know, uh, everybody ain't lovable. Well, you wasn't always lovable. Amen. But the Bible said that even when, I, when we were in our sin, Christ died for us. That's love. Hallelujah. Now, I mean, that's love. The Bible said no greater love than this than a man laid down his life for his friend. So I just wanted to give. I didn't even want to come on and say all of that. But when you start praising God, amen. And I'm talking about without the aid of the instruments and the organs. And amen. Praise God. You just put your hands together and your feet on the floor. And give God praise for everything that he has done for you. So I just wanted to invite you in. I'm, again, I'm working. Praise God. I, I'm working, 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 working. Trying to end this year with the bang. Amen. And welcome in a new year. But I just start humming. I said, wait a minute. I need to press record. Amen. Because somebody out there needs to know that you know what? It's a joy to serve Jesus. That's why I always say, enjoy Jesus and all his joys. It's not laborious to serve Jesus. Amen. It's not a hard task. It's not a hard thing to serve Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a joy and a privilege and an honor to serve Jesus, to know who Jesus is. Glory to God. And how many realize everybody don't know who Jesus is? Hallelujah. But you ought to know him. Praise God. So how can they get to know Jesus? They can get to know Jesus by simply looking at our lives. Help us, Lord, so we can be an example to somebody who does not know Jesus. Say, look, listen, it's something about you that I love. What is it? What is it? And you can tell them, it's the Jesus in me. Amen. Praise God. It's the love of God. So I thank God for his love. I thank God for his uh, unconditional love. When you put unconditional in front of love, when you put that ad adjective unconditional love, Hallelujah. That that does something to me. Maybe I'm by myself this morning, but that does something to me. When I think about unconditional 
love. Hallelujah. You know, love these days is so fickle. Kirk Franklin was right. Love is a word that comes and goes. And people rarely know what it really means to love somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we fall in and out of love. I was uh, laughing because I went to check um, the upload on another channel. Um, one of the uh, ministry videos that I did, and already I saw somebody disliked it. I don't know what I did to them. I don't even know if they even watched the whole video. Honey, they could just have a, a, a grudge against me or something. I don't know. Or something. I don't know what. I don't know who it is. I don't know what it is. God bless you. But you know, it caused me to chuckle because who in their right mind would dislike somebody praising God? But that's just the kind of world that we live in. Amen. Hallelujah. And I begin to think about how we fall in and out of love with people. We only love people when they're doing something good for us. We love folk when they are tickling our uh, ears and giving us something that we want to hear. Or we love people when they are doing a favor for what, for us or something. We love folk, amen, because of how they may make us feel at, one, at any given moment. Amen. But what happens when the money runs out? What happens when the person that was encouraging you, they need encouragement? What happens when, uh, amen, uh, you do something that they don't agree with, okay? I find a whole lot of folk didn't truly love me for real, amen? Because if you love me, amen, you'll pray for me. You won't talk about me. You won't disown me. Come on here. You won't just dislike what I do just because I you disagree, amen? Hallelujah. But true love, the true love of the Father reaches past all of that. Oh, I thought of another song. That it reaches to the highest mountain. Then it flows to the lowest valley. Hallelujah. The blood that Jesus shed was because of his love for us. Y'all remember that song when Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me? Now that's love. Amen. That's not how the story ends. Three days later he rose again. That's love. Amen. The love of God. So I promise you, if you don't feel love today, if you don't feel like nobody else loves you, amen, you begin to love on Jesus. Tell Jesus how much you love him. I promise you, I promise you, he will communicate to you his love back right to you. You'll start feeling his spirit. You'll start in, in feeling his embrace. Y'all ever felt God look like his spirit was just hugging you? Hallelujah. It looked like he was just patting you and consoling you. You know, the Holy Ghost is a comforter. Amen. He is the comforter. So, amen. There's nothing wrong with being in that kind of relationship with Jesus where you actually can feel his embrace. Feel him loving you. Feel him reaching out to you. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. And if you don't serve Jesus, I just want to invite you to get to know Jesus. He's an awesome Savior. Amen. So anyway, this is Apostle Stacey Woods. I've said a whole lot that I didn't really mean to say. Just wanted to come and share this praise for the Lord with you. And I pray that you have been blessed, you've been encouraged, you've been strengthened. Amen. On today, I pray that you are enjoying Jesus and all his joys. And thank you for making ministry possible. Bye.